I'm Paul Marsh and today I want to talk about a little issue I had with using Gaia and Vegetation Studio Pro. So as you can see here on the screen we've got our little spawner and the Gaia is grating and it spawned a farm but Vegetation Studio is putting in this grass and it's put it across this area here so you can see all the vegetation has gone inside we don't really want that now what you can do is you can generate something called a mask we'll just pop around to here let's go to this object so here we've got our small farm and I've defined these points in it this mask these little gray points just light them up there and these just define to Vegetation Studio Pro an area where it shouldn't put its grasses and things. So there you can see just by moving that point, it alters it. Now, what I want to do, or what I thought I could do, is just come to this spawned prefab, open this, and create a mask in here. But I believe because this doesn't have a terrain, you can't define the Vegetation Studio mask. So that doesn't work. So I needed a new mechanism and hence we got this little helper. And what this little helper does is allows me to put this vegetation mask example in here. So this is my, what I've called the mask prefab. And then looking at the building that it's in, it's got a particular name and this is duplicated. So Guy would duplicate this name. So I'm looking for this name. I'm also looking for this particular tag, PW building procedure worlds building so that way these two it was probably belt and braces but these two have to match in order for me to add the mask to it and the other little thing that was a bit of a gotcha for me in here you can see it says prefair is from spawner small farm one so actually when we look at this hierarchy here when you scroll up here guy has got these different mechanisms so there's a small farm two three and four and these are all slightly different variations slightly like different sizes they've got different things in them so this particular example of this mask only works for small farm one so what we'll do now is i shall go and try and find another small farm one da, 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 da. forge okay so here's one you can see it's got the grass in it. So we'll do the add masks. And you can see that all of a sudden we've got this mask appear in here and it's done what it should do. So it leaves a little bit of an entrance for Vegetation Studio to put some grass in, but the rest of it is clean. So let's find another example, another one here. Again, that's uh, all clean. You don't get anything in here because it's the sandy bit. Uh, forges, forges, forges. Another one. Let's look down here a bit more. There we are. Oh, no backing. That look, looks like the same one. Uh, forge. There we go. Another one. So you can see that the mask has been taken and it's been copied. So that was my quick way of adding Vegetation Studio Mask to multiple spawned objects. And I'll have to do it for all these other different farms, but that's the price I pay for combining Gaia and Vegetation Studio Pro. So um, I'll just quickly show you the code. So this is what the editor code looks like. We've just got a little menu here. This is the actual window that it generates. Then on every message from one GUI, uh, we create a horizontal label and object. So obviously the label is, in this case, parent object to add. And this is getting the name of a string. Then the tag. And then a slightly different one, which is the object. So this is actually getting the vegetation studio mask area. And then whenever that changes, I go and grab the name of the spawner, i.e. 
small farm one or small farm two. So it's quite specific to this example. And then just the buttons to add the masks and remove the masks. They basically do the same thing, which is find the object with that tag and then providing that the names still match and the name of the spawner matches, we can then come in, check whether it's got a vegetation mask area already. If it hasn't, create a new object, add the mask area, and then this bit here copies from the example mask area and adds it to the new one. And that's it, that's pretty much it. So it's not very complicated code. As I say, that, that helps you spawn a lot of objects in Gaia and then put vegetation masks over them without having to go and individually do it for each one. So I hope you find that useful. Thanks.